Oh, oh. oh man, I don't think I slept too well. Oh, oh hey, it's Sam from Tap here. Uh, just woke up, slept overnight in my tree stand. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit about why we do this. So, welcome to Tips and Tricks for Bow Hunting. Age old problem bow hunters face getting to their tree stands quietly and without disturbing deer. How do you do that? Well, you can be tactical, take routes that take you away from where deer are bedded and where you might disturb them, or easier solution, you sleep in your tree stand the night before. That gets you in place, quiet, deer aren't disturbed. Now I know what you're thinking, that's pretty dumb, right? Oh, uh, you know, no way I can do that, no way anybody should do that. Safety. What about scent? The whole place gets stunk up, right? Those things would be true if you weren't covering your bases, but we have. So, uh, it's kind of tough, you know, to move around up here sometimes. All right, so safety-wise, you know, yeah, I, I should be wearing a harness, but it'd be kind of tough to sleep with a harness on. Uh, yeah, but what if you roll off your tree stand? You know, you can die, right? True. So. What we did to avoid, you know, the basic, uh, you know, danger of, of injury is that the tree stand is not only it's not very high; it's only four feet off the ground. So, no, that doesn't put you at a real high vantage point. We get that, but I want to tell you why we do it. So, Greg Litzinger, good friend of ours, uh, also known as Bow Hunting Fiend, he talked on a podcast that we listened to, Truth from the Stand, about hunting very low in some cases from his tree stands. He hunts in salt marshes, diameter of trees isn't real big in some cases, so he has to use whatever tree is available. And we thought, hey, if he can do it, we can do it. So we're only four feet off the ground, no real risk of injury here. The other thing is scent, right? You don't want to stink up the whole place. So what do you do? Well, you know, we come up with a simple solution to this. We realize that all those fancy dancy, expensive clothings out there that have scent blocking technology in them what are they using to do that activated charcoal we thought well hey we can do we can do that anybody can really do that right go to the grocery store just all you got to do is put a bag of charcoal in your sleeping bag with you open the top blocks all your scent now i'm not really sure if this technically is activated and you know, this might be a potential issue it's so it's saturated with lighter fluid. Mm. Well, in any case, it's charcoal, and I'm sure it blocks scent. So, the other thing you need to know is, you know, when it comes to sleeping in a tree stand, you got to have a big platform. So, Table Mountain Designs has you covered there. This stand is quite large, and it has plenty of space to be able to put, you know, move around, add some gear with you while you're up here. You know, camp stove, you know, a little bit of you know, silverware and plate maybe for your breakfast. You got plenty of space. Well built, extremely well constructed tree stands. And for their, their size and for the level of construction that they have, light and weight. So I highly recommend the tree stand and I would suggest you go check these guys out. Table Mountain Designs. Alright guys, that about covers tips and tricks first edition. Stay tuned for more to come from us. Thanks.